Hello and welcome to this video from FilmsByChris.com. That's Chris the K. I'm Chris the K. Today we're going to be talking about loading certain files onto your Android device. Okay, so I have an Android device here. I, I have logged in through ADB, so I'm at the default Android shell here. I can go CD into SD card, which will bring me to my internal storage. I can list out my files here. If I want to, let's say, create a shell script, or maybe a, I want to compile a C program for my phone. Well, let's just do this. I'm going to say echo, uh, actually, no, I'm going to say cat into, I'll call it my.sh, and I'm going to say, okay, this is going to be a shell script. I'll say echo, hello, and then control D. If you don't know, cat uh, allows you, it, it's like a poor man's text editor if you need to. Basically, you do cat greater than into a file, and then whatever you type, We'll go into that file. When you're done, you hit Control D and it dumps it all into that file. So I can now cat out my.sh. You can see it's there. Let's go ahead and change mod plus X my script. There you go. I've made it executable. Let's go ahead and try running it. Dot, dot slash my sh. Permission denied. Okay, let's go ahead and list out my.sh. Oh, it didn't get the executable flag. I just tried to give it the executable flag. Okay, maybe, maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to, instead of plus X, some versions of... Uh, uh, change mod need to get the numeric value. So I'll just say 777, give it all permissions, right? Now it should work, my.sh. Still, if I list it out again, my.sh, it doesn't have permissions. You can't make files on your internal storage, uh, on your SD card storage, your, your data storage, um, executable. It's just not permission, even though if I was to check mount and grep for SD card, it says it's an ext4 um, file system. So there's just some, some sort of settings on Android that even though it's an ext uh, format, it's not allowing me to make it executable. That's okay because there is a place on your system where you can put files and give them proper Linux uh, permissions. So, and you don't need to be root to, to access this file. CD slash data slash local slash temp. This is, I guess, theoretically a temporary directory, but it does not clear out when you restart your phone. In fact, if I list out here, you can see I have some files in here, right? Now, I'm not saying this is the best place to put things, but especially if you don't have root access, you're limited on where you can put things to make them executable. So now if I was to move my script that I just created to here, and let's clear the screen again, I am now going to say dot slash my, it's still not going to run because now that I've moved it, I need to change mod plus X, my script. And if I now run it, it will run and say hello. And again, you can compile things uh, in, in any language that, uh, you know, so here I'm doing a shell script. If you're doing C code, you can put it here because you need to make it executable. You can't put an executable on that SD card storage, which again, is not actually an SD card. It's called SD card on Android, but it's actually your internal storage, which is a little confusing. Um, but yeah, this is a great place if you need to temporarily put files that for some reason won't work on the internal storage. Uh, it can go here on the system, basically. I don't want to say system because it's not actually ranked the system because that's a read-only file system. But this is a place where you can go and give it proper permissions to execute uh, without root. If you have root, there's probably better places that you can add and then have it in your path directory if you need to have a script that runs everywhere on your system. But I thought I'd throw this out here. I have mentioned this before, but I thought I'd throw it out in this little video. Thanks for watching. As always, visit filmsbychris.com. There's Chris with a K. Link in the description, and that's data, local, temp. And don't be fooled. Again, it does not... Re you know, clear out that directory when you restart your device. The files I have in here, uh, let's, let me list out like this. Yeah, it, I have files in there that are a year and a half old. Okay, uh, so they've been in there for a while. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.